Hi friends! Today I'll tell you all about how we can figure out the meaning of words, and I am over the moon about it. Well, not literally over the moon. Okay, let's back up a step. When we try to understand the meaning of words, the first thing we have to do, is figure out if the words are being used literally, or figuratively. If they are used literally, they mean exactly what they say. If they are used figuratively, they mean something else, and we have to find out what they mean. Being over the moon doesn't actually mean that I am floating very high in the sky, higher than the moon, does it? No. In this case, I use the words figuratively. The phrase, I'm over the moon, is an expression that means that I am very happy. But if an astronaut on their way to Mars said, I will soon be over the moon, he or she actually means that they are very close to the moon, and will soon be higher up in the sky than it is. They use the words literally. Let's look at another example of figurative speech. If I told you that I could eat a horse, would you think I could actually ever eat a whole horse? Probably not. I don't mean it literally. You would probably guess that I mean it figuratively. I am using a figure of speech called hyperbole, which means that I am exaggerating how hungry I am, because no one can fit a whole horse into their stomach. What I mean is that I am very hungry. So words sometimes mean exactly what they say, but sometimes they don't. And sometimes the same word can have a lot of meanings. Let me explain. I will ask you a question. See what answer pops into your head. Ready? Here goes. Do you have a mouse in your house? What kind of mouse popped into your head? Usually, when we think of a mouse, we think of a small animal that is afraid of cats, right? But another use of the word, mouse, is as a technical term, that has to do with computers. We can use that mouse, to move a cursor around on our computer, and click on different things. So, the word mouse means two very different things, depending on the context. I didn't give you any context when I asked you if you have a mouse, so maybe you thought I was asking, if you had a small animal at home. Or maybe you thought I was asking, if you have a mouse that you use at your computer. If I had asked instead, do you use a mouse to click on links? Then you would probably think of a computer mouse, because I gave you some context. Sometimes we borrow words from mythological characters to describe things. Here is an example. Cleaning my room sometimes feels like a Sisyphean effort. What do you think the word Sisyphean means? When I see a word I don't recognize, first I look for clues in the text that can tell me what it means. If I can't find any clues, I use a dictionary. Let's have a closer look at the word Sisyphean. It comes from the name of a king in Greek mythology, who was called Sisyphus. He had done something that made the gods angry, so, as a punishment, he had to push the same boulder up a hill forever. Right when Sisyphus got close to the top of the hill, the boulder would roll all the way down again, and he would have to start over. How do you think Sisyphus felt? I think he felt frustrated, because he had to repeat the same task over and over again. It never ended, and his efforts didn't seem to make a difference. A Sisyphean effort might therefore mean, an effort that makes us feel frustrated, because we have to do it over and over again, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. Like cleaning our rooms makes us feel sometimes, because they get messy right away. Are you with me so far? I have more examples of how we can use words and phrases, to express a message. Let's look at something called a simile. A simile means that we compare something with something else. For example, Tommy was as quiet as a mouse. What does that mean? Is Tommy actually a mouse? No. A mouse is a very quiet animal. They can move around the house, and we would never hear them. So, if Tommy is as quiet as a mouse, it means that he is very quiet. A simile often looks like this. Someone or something is as, as something else. For example, Clara is as fast as a leopard. Or like this. Someone or something is, like, someone or something else. For example, the moon is like Swiss cheese, round and full of holes. Words are wonderful, aren't they? 
In this video, I talked about the difference between using words literally, that is, in a way in which the words mean exactly what they say, and figuratively, in which case they mean something else. We looked at examples of figurative expressions, such as, being over the moon, hyperbole, such as, I could eat a horse, technical terms such as, mouse, words that are derived from mythology, such as, Sisyphean, and finally, similes, with which we compare something to something else, such as, Tommy was as quiet as a mouse. And there are many more figurative expressions. Now you try it. Can you think of any examples of figurative language? Have fun!